Hi everyone, it's Tony here, just bringing you a quick little design for an easel card from Twitch Craft Kits. I was recently playing with the Christmas, the small Christmas kit. It's loads of fun and I'm going to have so many designs to share with you guys over the next few days or weeks. And this easel card, again, it's just a very simple card. It's probably for a beginner and it's just lots of layers, loads and loads of layers, okay? So I started off with the long card base being at about 4 inches by 12 and then just folded that in half. That will make your 4 by 6 card base, just a regular base. Again, folded it in half to, at the 3 inch mark to make it a mountain fold. This is your basic easel card fold for this shape. And your card topper will then go onto this part just here. Okay, so my card topper, I used the green paper first, the green with the dots. That is Berry Christmas by Eco Park. And then basically with the layers, you just go in or out at whatever increments that you're comfortable with. Mine are generally at about a quarter of an inch each time. So my second layer, I've based that with some foam tape or chipboard, whatever you're comfortable using. And that's at three and three quarter by five and three quarter. My top, however, I've actually used and based the size off. So I've done this top in two parts. So there's your first part, uh, these two layers, and then the top part, the second part is that bit. And I've just used the fussy cuts of the bonus sheets. And they're, they're really nice and straight, so they're not even really fussy cuts, to be honest. I loved cutting them out. It was really nice and easy. And I've actually started off with half a mat here with the green, and then the red, and then the, the topper sentiment on top. So the green is actually from Cartabella, and it's literally just red-green. So it's the same piece of paper, and it's just on opposite sides. So it's this one here, and it's green and red. And then as, not something I usually always do, but for this one I have included a red backing, and that's at 3 by 4 inches. And then to open up the card, I've actually got a slight flap there just to make for my sentiment because I wanted to to include that blue or the green dots for the base so again that's four by six that green base and I've also used just some white cardstock at three and three quarter by seven and a half inch so this was just a piece that I had left over from the holly berries it is from Echo Park, Holly Berries. And I just love these trees. And I honestly thought the trees just matched this little sentiment part so well. Okay, and then my bottom, like a, a stopper, I suppose you could say. It's an inch and a half by the three and three quarter inches. Okay, and then to finish the card off, I just used some stickers that were from the sheet. So that was the bucket, the tree, and the other tree. And that's it. I used some pine cone ink. And this is the only piece of pattern paper that I've actually got left over. All the rest, which I'm really, really glad about, I still have a lot of good solid paper so i think i only cut i think the biggest piece was about four inches so that means i've still got another what's that um another like eight inches or something to go yeah so i've still got at least another eight inches by 12 on each three of those sheets and that's the back side of those sheets in case you're not sure so thank you very much and keep an eye on for some more projects soon.